President Donald Trump is formally going to declare Jerusalem to be Israel's capital. The announcement about the embassy move from Tel Aviv to the city. Uh, sacred to the three main uh, monothetic religions will come later today. The timeline is uncertain and the process, well, that could take years, but the historic shift of the U.S. policy may trigger new tensions in the Middle East. It may upend the delicate peace talks. That's the risk for the region. Joining us now from Dubai in, uh, is Andrew Barden. He is our government editor. Andrew, good to see you this morning. Just how significant is this announcement? Because it's bucking back against decades of policy in the United States of America. How is the region going to react? Well, it's, it's obviously very significant. Uh, you know, we're seeing that a little bit in some of the reaction that's already coming out from some of the governments. Having said that, I would say that the, the devil will be in, in the details on this one. The, you know, the announcement of the planned move to Jerusalem has been on U.S. books since 1995. They passed a law that said they would eventually move the, the embassy to Jerusalem, and they've been waiving that decision ever since. And we think that Trump will also waive it today. And so it may be the case that that you know that particular decision doesn't really have much of an implication for now. You're kicking that one down the road. The other one, the recognition, uh, is 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 more tricky there, and I think people will be looking at his words very closely. And the big question that we have is, you know, why now? What's what's the foreign policy objective here? What's the goal? It's it's not clear why you're doing this. This is a region where you know we had we had talk of, of metal detectors at the Dome of the Rock, and that kicked off protests. Or, or digs near, near Temple Mount, you know, very small things like that can have severe consequences. And here you're really going in all in on a very big decision. And so uh, it's probably not a surprise to hear that a lot of governments are very worried and cautioning about the potential reaction.